Hello and welcome to From the Lab. On February 18, NASA's Perseverance rover will land in a 45-kilometer wide crater on the Martian surface. One of the science objectives of this mission is to analyze the chemical composition of Martian rocks and soil. This will be carried out by the SuperCam instrument on board the rover. As many as 14 French laboratories have contributed to the design and development of the mast unit of the SuperCam. Today I'm visiting one of these labs at the Paris Observatory campus in Mudo. Called LESIA or the Astrophysics Study and Instrumentation Lab, it has developed the infrared spectrometer that is a part of the SuperCam. I'm now joined by Jean-Michel Reyes, who is a project manager at LESIA. Thank you, Jean-Michel. My first question is, what is an infrared spectrometer and what role will it play in this mission? Uh, well, an infrared spectrometer is an instrument that collects the reflected light of the sun on the soil of Mars, on the rocks. And uh, doing that, it uh, analyzes by separating the different composer, uh, wavelengths, which are with other colors, and analyze it. Doing that, you know exactly what, you, what are the rocks you are looking at, and you make the identification of the rocks. Can you tell us more about this device? How long did you take to build it? Well, we were contacted in uh, 2014 by Sylvester Morris to propose uh, an infrared spectrometer uh, on the SuperCam uh, payload. Um, and uh, at that time, he asked us to, uh, to propose an instrument very small, less than 500 grams, um, and uh, that can fit in a very small uh, place in SuperCam. So we worked on that with another lab near here near Paris, at Latmos. And we, uh, we proposed an instrument that were uh, 400 grams uh, and fit the volumes. Now, can you tell me about LESIA? What are its other research activities? So LESIA is a, is a big uh, astrophysics uh, laboratory, uh, and it works in all the fields of astrophysics, either for space science and also on ground science. So for example, uh, we, uh, we had an instrument on the Rosetta mission uh, that was launched uh, 10 years ago now. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's the kind of things we do. Earlier, I spoke to Sylvester Morris of the Astrophysics and Planetology Research Institute on their contribution to the SuperCam instrument. SuperCam is an instrument for the Perseverance rover. It is made of three parts. One part, the mass unit built in France. Second part, the body unit with our partners in Los Alamos National Lab and the PI, Roger Wins. And the last one is from Spain, calibration targets. So in France, we are responsible for the delivery of the mass unit. It's approximately six kilos of hardware, but a, a very uh, interesting and very complex piece of hardware. The SuperCam has five different techniques. One is to look at the atomic composition with an infrared laser. We're burning uh, the targets, and looking at the plasma tell us what it is made of, how much um, iron, titanium we have. The second technique is a Raman spectrometer. We are shooting with a green laser this time, and we're looking at the bondings between the different atoms, molecules. And we can even find organic molecules if they exist. The third one is the infrared spectrometer that is using light that is being reflected, like from the sun, that is being reflected by the targets in infrared where we can find fingerprints of, again, molecular bondings. So three spectroscopic techniques, plus a camera, very high resolution to find where we're shooting us with our lasers, and also a microphone. So it's five in one. It is a very new experiment, but uh, that inherits a little bit from ChemCam, our previous instrument on Curiosity. ChemCam was only two experiments, and now we have five. So in France, we're responsible for breeding this piece of hardware. It's approximately 14 different labs all over France. And in Toulouse, we are in charge of coordinating the development of this instrument. That was Sylvester Morris, who is one of the two principal investigators of the SuperCam instrument. We end this show with an animation of the Ingenuity helicopter that will demonstrate the first powered flight on another planet. See you next time.